Layer masks are one of Photoshop's most powerful tools. Introduced in Photoshop 3.0 in September 1994, layer masks have become essential for non-destructive editing and professional workflows. I'm Jesus Ramirez from the Photoshop Training Channel. In this video, you'll learn how layer masks work in Photoshop. Let's start by answering the question, what is a layer mask? A layer mask is a feature in Photoshop that allows you to hide or reveal parts of a layer without permanently deleting content. They use brightness values to determine transparency. Remember this key phrase to understand how layer masks function. Black conceals and white reveals. White areas on the mask fully reveal the content of the layer. Black areas completely hide it. And shades of gray create partial transparency, allowing for smooth transitions and blending effects. Think of it as a gradient scale from 0 to 100%, where 0 is black, fully concealed, and 100% is white, fully revealed. As white gets darker, more of the layer becomes transparent. By using layer masks, you gain precise control over which parts of the layer are visible without permanently altering your original image. Let's now look at a basic example. In this document, I have two layers, a background and a person standing. To create a mask, click on the new layer mask icon to apply a mask to the active layer. Photoshop will then create a completely white mask, as you can see from the layer mask thumbnail. Hold Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac and click on the mask thumbnail to view the mask itself. In this case, it's completely white, meaning everything in the layer mask is visible. Use the same shortcut to exit the mask view. To delete a mask, right click on the mask thumbnail and choose Delete Layer Mask. Now let's create a mask while holding Alt on Windows or Option on the Mac and clicking on the layer mask icon. This creates an inverted layer mask that's completely black, which hides everything in the layer. Here's another helpful keyboard shortcut. Hold Shift and click on the layer mask thumbnail to disable it. This brings back the original image and the red X reminds you that you have turned off the mask. To re-enable the mask, hold Shift and click on the layer mask thumbnail once again. With the mask active, indicated by the white outline around it, select the brush tool from the toolbar, choose white as your foreground color, and paint over the mask to reveal hidden areas. Obviously, manually painting to bring back the person will be a long and tedious job. Fortunately, we are no longer in Photoshop 3.0, and we now have smart tools to help us with the masking process. I'll delete the mask again, but this time I'll use the Remove Background feature found in the taskbar. Simply click on the Remove Background button, Photoshop will analyze the image and apply a layer mask that hides the background. This mask isn't perfect, but you can now refine it by painting on it with the brush tool. Tap on the left and right bracket keys on the keyboard to resize your brush. The bracket keys are to the right of the letter P in North American keyboards. Here are two keyboard shortcuts you should commit to memory. Press the D key to make your foreground and background colors white and black, the default colors. Then press the X key to swap the foreground color with the background color. Start by painting with black to remove imperfections over his shirt and his hair. Then keep alternating between black and white depending on your needs. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, hit like now and subscribe. Next, let me show you how to create masks with selections. In this example, we have two layers, a background and a text layer. The goal here is to make it seem as if the text is behind her. To do so, First, we need to create a selection around her and apply the mask to the text layer. The first step is to enable the background layer by clicking on it. Now we have to create a selection around her. There are dozens of ways of creating selections in Photoshop. It all depends on what you're trying to select and your experience level. In this case, we will simply click the Select Subject button in the taskbar. This will create a selection overlay around her body. Sometimes this overlay is referred to as the marching ants. This overlay indicates that the selection is active. Next, I'll enable the text layer. No matter how you create the selection, when you have an active selection and click on the layer mask icon from the layers panel, you will create a mask based on that selection. In this case, her body is white and everything outside of it is black. So the text that appears outside of her body remains hidden. But we want the opposite. Black in the inside, white in the outside. From the Properties panel, you have more control for the mask, including the Invert button, which inverts the mask. In other words, it makes everything white-black and everything black-white. After clicking on it, it will appear as if the text is behind her. If you click on this link icon, you will break the link between the mask and the layer. 
Now you can enable the text without the mask by clicking on the layer thumbnail. The white outline known as the focus will be around it. Then you can press V to enable the move tool and move the layer around, making it appear as if the text is behind her. The mask will stay in place and anything that appears over her body will remain transparent. Let's now look at one more example. In this case, I want to create more depth and interest in this photo by applying the fog layer over the car. Of course, we can use blending modes to get started. First, enable the fog layer, then choose the screen blending mode, which hides the dark pixels and blends the fog with the car. By the way, if you're new to blending modes, check out my video Blending Modes Explain, where I talk all about how they work and what they do. The link is below in the description. Using the blending mode is great, but we still have too much fog over the car, so we can use a layer mask to blend the images better. From the layers panel, create a layer mask over the fog layer. Then from the toolbar, enable the gradient tool. From the options bar, make sure you're using the black to white gradient. Then drag a gradient from about the middle down and angle the gradient if you like. This creates a smooth transition in the mask from transparent to visible, making it a much better image. You can also paint on the mask to further enhance the layer. From the toolbar, enable the brush tool. Then from the options bar, choose this brush, which will paint a fog-like stroke. Check out my video on mastering brushes to see how it's created and download it for free. The link is below. Now with black as my foreground color, I will paint over the mask to enhance the fog effect. This is what my mask looks like after I'm done painting. And of course, these are just the basics of layer masks. But by learning the essentials we just discussed, you will build a strong foundation and master them with just a little more practice. And if you enjoy this video, hit like now and subscribe. I'm Jesus Ramirez from the Photoshop Training Channel. Thanks for watching.